Happy Monday, everybody. How's it going? When you, um, when you see this, y'all are going to go, wait, who is this woman? We haven't seen her. First of all, I want to tell so many of you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your sweet cards, all your sweet letters, your flowers, your happies, your gifts, your prayers, everything. It was so sweet during this whole time. Um, and a lot of the, a lot of you that don't know, um, they're like, what is she talking about? Um, unfortunately, in the last six and a half months, I lost both my mother and my father. And so um, I know that my dad is building beautiful homes and I know that my mom has probably got the most fabulous garden um, going in heaven. So I'm excited to be able to see them there when that time comes. But until then, I'm gonna spend the rest of my time crafting and making and creating and um, having the best time. And I'm just gonna tell you, our launch last week of our brand new resin has got me so jazzed. So you saw in the kit that we had um, of the adorable pop socket that Mary Margaret's hand was showing. And she was walking by here and I was like, okay, oh my gosh, I, I've, I want you to see this. This is day two I'm wearing these earrings. Come over here and show them. So I want you to see. <laughs> how cute, how cute, look at this. So she wears black tops. She's got on a white top today. They're just adorable. They just move around. Don't you I love do. them? I do. I do. They are awesome. Uh, this is my third day in the row to um, wear them. I am. I do have on like some other. Or like, leopard. And I'm, I'm cross doing tortoise and uh, leopard, but you know they still go. We're cross so cute. animal printing. So cute. I just think they're so cute. But I wanted you. Everything looks cuter on Mary Margaret. I'm like, uh -oh. you want to. You want to no. see how cute she looks. Thank you. Thank you for showing them. So, you're also going to see her picture on the front. Look at this, of her box. She had on the cutest black top, and she, um, I was like, try these earrings on. So, she put them on. She was like, I'm loving these. They're so cute. So, look at this. So, this is the kit that we have together. I'm just going to tell you, if you have somebody that you, you love and you're thinking about buying them a gift for the holidays, this is the perfect gift. It's perfect because it's going to introduce them to a whole new world of things that they've never done before. And it's going to be so fun. It's so gratifying. So here was the thought process. Literally, this was like over a year ago. I'm not going to say the name of the shop because a lot of you probably shop there in Memphis. It's a very high-end women's boutique. And they had earrings, no lie. Uh, they have these jelly earrings that we have in the mold that comes in this kit because you get two separate molds. They have these jelly earrings and they were $168. And all they were were acrylic jelly earrings and they were clear. And I was like, oh my gosh, we're going to be making these. People are going to go nuts. And so as I've started playing with them and adding gold mica and gold flakes and everything, I've had the best time. I am so serious. It has been a blast. So it makes me even more happy to see my peeps and see your names coming up here. And it's just so precious to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So as you hop on here, what do you do? S say, hey, say, hey, Amy, tell me what city you're tuning in from. Cause I love seeing your names, but also I want you to share the video and tag three friends because guess what? Your name will go in for a drawing because we're going to be giving this kit away. So I'm going to be showing you how to create faux tortoise. Look at all the yummy stuff. So this kit, you get your hardener, your resin, your two molds, your stir sticks, you get four micas, so that way you can make tons of different colors. A lot of people don't realize you can mix the resins and our micas and our pigments together to make all kinds of colors. It's so fun. We even have a mica bundle, a gold flake, a silver copper flake bundle, and then now we have all of our pigments in little minis. You can go to a makerstudio.com and you can see them all on there because you can make all of these resins colors with just pigments. So I want to be able to take you through and show you how to do this new kit today. And I will tell you, if this is something you love, I, I am just telling you, I, and I'm not, I'm not just saying this, you need to get it because we're going to sell out. And um, a lot of these items we probably won't be able to get again. 
um, until probably so close to Christmas, you're gonna be like, that's a real bummer. <laughs> but because, um, you know, as I was launching this and as I was coming up with the ideas, um, I was doing things that I loved, like the notebooks and paperweights and earrings and pop sockets and all that type of thing, because I thought if I love it, I know that y'all are gonna love it. And how great, this may start a new business for you to be able to make earrings. I'm just gonna tell you, look at this. If you've got cute shops, look at that. If you've got cute shops in your um, neighborhood, they would love to sell these. This could be your way of starting a jewelry business and they're so inexpensive. The molds that come in the kits, you can do them again and again and again. So as you pop out here, be sure to share the video, tag three friends, and then, um, uh, now I'm going to take you through, I want to do an overhead, and I'm going to take you through and show you how to create these. You ready? All right, let's do this. Okay, guys, now let me show you. In the kit, you're going to get two molds, a pipette, four of your pigments. This allows you to be able to make your own faux tortoise. Um, you'll get your hooks and your, I'm just calling them the circles, in order to be able to make um, a couple of pairs of earrings. You'll get your eight ounce containers, which will be uh, actually 16 ounce, because remember, the acrylic glacier resin and the acrylic glacier hardener have to go one-to-one -to -one together. So you're always gonna be using one, one part to one part. And then um, the, what you need to be able to add to it, you're gonna need to have um, a measuring cup that's large enough and possibly I use plastic cups, drinking cups, um, to be able to measure out my resin and my hardener. And then as always, please, please, please wear gloves when you're working with this. So I'm gonna go in and put these on. And it's hard for me to wear um, a mask when I'm trying to teach you and do these Facebook lives, but I would like for you to be able to wear a mask. If you can do an N95, you can double it up with a cloth one or use like a respirator that actually has filters in it. Now, the great thing about it is with our resins, it doesn't have an, it's odorless and it doesn't yellow and it has the best leveling capabilities of anything that I've ever used. So we are so proud. All the development, everything that we have put into this for a long, long time has really made it exciting to bring this to fruition. So um, there's a lot of different earrings on here today. You see, I've already made one and I'm gonna pop those out so that way you can see it and I'm gonna pour up the other one. So the way these silicone molds work, you wanna allow your resins uh, to dry about 10 to 12 hours and they're just gonna pop out like this. They're really easy. And it's really important to make sure that the consistency of what you mix your resin up to be exact because that's what's going to allow them to be really nice um, and hard and um, easy to work with. So let's go on and mix this up. Um, I'm just gonna make this one again and I'm gonna take my resin and I've got my little silicone measuring cup and I'm not gonna need that much so I'm gonna fill it up halfway. So I can see through the lines on the outside as I can see in the inside. I'm gonna show you in just a second. So right here on the side, I can see through it. So I'm actually looking so I can see that where it's hit as far as that line to be able to make sure they're identical. Guys, this part, we've got to make sure that it's identical. Hey guys, as you pop on here, um, just say, hey, my name is Amy Howard and I'm with a maker studio and I am the proud mother maker um, of, a lot, of thousands of beautiful women that love crafting and we say crafting a beautiful life. And I am showing you how to make these adorable earrings that we have our brand new kit that we're introducing today and we're doing faux tortoise earrings. Let me show you this, look at this, so fab. Okay, all right, so now I've measured these out evenly and I'm just gonna take my Pyrex cup, I grabbed this out of my kitchen, and I'm gonna put this down in here and I will tell you as far as cleaning this when you're finished, the clean slate is fabulous. 
it's so perfect for um, cleaning the resin off of anything. You'll notice too that I have got a blue mat. Up my blue mat matches my blue gloves. Um, we do have these on a makerstudio.com and they're great because the silicone, if it gets on it, it just pops off. It beads up, let it dry overnight and then just pop it off. And it keeps your surface area nice and easy and clean um, to be able to work with the resins. Make sure that you scrape all the sides off really well. And now when you're mixing this up, guys, I cannot express enough how much, number one, your consistency of um, measuring this has got to be identical. And because this is like a chemical reaction, you're mixing a re acrylic resin with a hardener that's going to make it into a type of a polymer that allows you to be able to make just really beautiful acrylic um, jewelry. So you want to make sure that you're stirring this, mixing this really well for about three minutes. So you can just sing a song, listen to a song, put your timer on your phone, and just make sure that it's three minutes. And so I'll scrape the sides, I'll stir it around. I just want to make sure that it's stirred up really good. Let's just think about we're making risotto. It's just one of those things you've got to make sure that you stir it up. After you mix it up and you have your one part resin, one part hardener, you've got about 20 minutes before it starts getting too thick that it's really difficult to work with. So I'll only make enough for the amount of projects that I'm gonna be doing at a time. All right, so now I'm gonna make up a custom color of my yellow, and I'm gonna put a little bit of my mixed resin into the bottom of my cup. Now, you can be using a plastic paper cup, or a plastic cup, a paper cup, whatever, in order, like if you just wanna throw this away um, after you're finished. So that way you can see about how much I put in there. Now, I've got two colors here. You can mix these if you want. Um, and the champagne yellow pigment and the provincial yellow pigment. Now, when you are making your own custom color acrylic, you're only gonna use about 6% ratio to what you're making. So let me just show you. As little as I'm gonna be doing, I mean like a little dabble do you, that's it. That's all I need. And actually, I could put a lot more resin in there. And it's it, the great thing about it is, it's going to permeate into uh, the resin and literally all of this clear resin is gonna become this gorgeous color. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of this provincial, I mean, just a tad, look at that, just a tiny, tiny amount and put that in there. There's so much in this kit, you'll be able to literally do tons of projects with these pigments. They go really, really far. Now, when I'm mixing this, look at this. I'm just gonna be pressing it against the side. I'm stirring it up. I wanna make sure that all of that pigment is really very diffused. Oh, and I just thought of something. You know, if you wanted to do the gold mica, it would look so pretty with this. So as you pop on here, please say hey. Tell Amy hey where you're tuning in from. And um, I've missed y'all all so much. It's been such, such a difficult time losing both my mom and dad and I have just, I didn't realize how much I missed the relationships with the women that um, that I know virtually and my friendships through Maker Studio. So thank you all so much for showing me so much love. All right, so now I poured a little bit of resin down in the bottom of my second cup and I'm gonna take my Venetian Brown pigment and then I'm gonna mix a little bit of black with it. I want it to have that brown tone but I also want it to be pretty black. Now, and here's what's gonna be fun. Everybody's faux tortoise is gonna to look a little different. They're not all gonna be identical. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my black, a little dabble do you on this. All right, these pigments go so, so far. All of our pigments come from Provence. They are not synthetic pigments. They are the real deal. So I'm gonna mix this up. This is so fun when you think about being able to make all these custom colors. Make sure you blend it really well. Look at that. Isn't that wild? That clear, clear acrylic, now it's gone into black acrylic. So yummy. 
All right, so now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna pour a little bit of this resin on top of this. I'm just needing additional. It's just best, you don't need to like take your pigment and put a whole lot of it, um, or put a little bit of pigment and a whole lot of resin. You just need to start out with maybe a tablespoon, mix it really well, make sure that it's all equal distribution, and then come back and add so that way you've got more. All right? So now we're ready to blend. This is something that I want you to take your time with. Um, we do in the kits, we give you these little pipettes. You can also use syringes um, and you can have little pour cups, but what you, until you're used to this, I really suggest um, being able to maybe start out with your, um, your gold or your yellow color. And as you're laying it in, try to skip and have some negative space. So see, I'll, it's okay if I have a little line like that because I don't want it to look polka dotted. I'll lay a little bit right there. And then I'm gonna come down here, do a little bit here. I'm telling you, you're gonna have the best time making the cutest jewelry. And it's definitely one of those things that we say here to Maker Studio, it's about enjoying the bragging rights. But happy Monday, everybody. I'm so glad to be doing this. I'm so proud of all of the projects that we're gonna be doing with resin. It's definitely about crafting a beautiful life. I just think this is one of these projects and one of these things that we're doing that um, it's expensive looking. I'm, I'm just telling you, like, look at this. Is this the best looking thing? I have, um, I've just really struggled with finding cute jewelry. And I just think tortoise is just so classy. All right, so now I'm gonna fill in, I'm gonna fill in these areas to where, kind of in and around where I've laid my ochre color. Until you really get a good gauge of this too, it's best always less is more. Until you feel comfortable with it, take your time. You've got You've got ample time to be able to work on this. You've got about 20 minutes open time once you've made your resin. Now, I'm not gonna leave it like that, but what I did want you to see is how you need to allow this negative space so that you're going in and you're filling in to do this tortoise look. So now I'm gonna come here and fill that in. Don't forget, guys, you want to share this video and tag three friends because I'm going to be giving this kit away. And I cannot wait to see all the projects that y'all do with this. It's going to be so much fun. It's so funny the other day when me and Margaret and I were talking and she was like, I know what people are going to get for Christmas because I'm going to have the best time making them and she's doing earrings. So if anybody, if you're a relative or a friend of Mary Margaret's, don't tell her that I told you. The cool thing about it is too, you can come back and add, you can add a little bit of gold because remember, I am working on the back of this. So the front's gonna look totally different. And the earrings don't have to look identical. Sometimes I'll just take this little pipette just to be able to blend it around. Now you see these little plastic things sticking up? That's where your hole is gonna be. So it's very well protected. You don't have to worry about um, that getting covered up. So now I'll come back with my pipette and I'll just kind of pull it and blend these. It's a little bit like marbling. Now, I don't wanna fill it in. I just want them to be kind of somewhat connected so it doesn't kind of look like polka dots. And then if you want to, without overflowing your space in your earring, if you want, you can kind of come back and just add a little bit more. And blend that in. 
There's no right or wrong way. <clears throat> I just don't want it to be too speckly for you. I want it to be blended. That way when you're looking at them, they've got some movement and it feels like a stone. Now, move this over here. <coughs> I'm going to go on and take my, my gloves off because I'm not working with my resin anymore. And I want to be able to show you when you're going to be putting these together, you're going to notice a couple of things in your kit. So you're going to have this ring. This is where the part that goes through your ear. And then you've got this circle connector. And you're going to want to have some jewelry tweezers to be able to open up the circle connector to be able to connect the diamond or the square or the circle to your earring. So sometimes we'll do circles on them, sometimes we'll do squares, just depending on the shape of them as far as what you wanna be able to do. They're totally different and that's, that's, that's strictly a, a personal preference. And then when you're working on um, the one, the part that's gonna go through your ear, you're basically just gonna take the base of this like this and kind of twist it and open it actually have um, like a light magnifier. So turning that open like that, so see how that hook is opened? And basically it just allows you to be able to put the hook through the top of the earring like this and then just close it up. really easy for me I'm gonna have to go back and kind of hold it down to where I can get that to close and you want to pull it back just a little bit so it won't fall out of your your ear is that not the most cutest thing you've ever seen love 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 all right I want to get one other thing and show you Oh, okay, so it's like wanting to be able to show you overheads and what that looks like so you can see me close up, but then I wanna be able to turn around and show you the earrings that I have on. So if you're just now popping on and you're just seeing me, I have taken you through the whole process of how to make these adorable faux tortoise shell earrings with our new acrylic resin and our molds. So we have put this kit together so that way you've got everything there except for your measuring cups that you can turn around and make the most adorable earrings. And as we say here at a maker studio, you get to enjoy the bragging rights. So, hey guys, please, oh, thank you again so much. I've missed you all so, so much. And I'm excited I'll be with Michelle on Saturday to be able to celebrate um, her wedding that she had in July. So I get to give that girl a hug and enjoy celebrating her new marriage. So have a fantastic week, everybody. And I'm gonna see you back here on Wednesday as I show you how to make the cutest tea lights that we're gonna be able to make with all kinds of things for fall to be able to customize them for Christmas. It's gonna be so much fun. I love you guys. Have a great week. Bye.